Hello. <laughs> how are you all? <laughs> I don't really know how to start a video like this because um, any other videos I've done in the past have been very vloggy type situations and this is not that. So I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, so bear with me, <laughs> please. So today my plan is to do a kind of winter, autumn winter, sustainable-ish lookbook. Um, this will be kind of vintage, fashion inspired, and also kind of, the way I dress is, some of it's vintage and some of it's smart. Um, I wear <laughs> things like this and what you will see in the video to Tesco, actually everywhere I go. So it's kind of a, it's a look, it is going to be a look, but well, I'm going to try and make it a look, but my plan is to explain through the outfits and where I got them from, and then hopefully do a little montage of trying them on. The, the issue is I'm not great at posing. Um, I actually did, <laughs> some modelling work when I was at university and I still don't know how to do it. So what my plan is to tell you the stuff, walk through it, and then when I do the lookbooky bit, I'll probably just dance to Taylor Swift because I love Taylor Swift. And you know, she gets your move in, she gets your, I don't know if this camera's straight, I'm really sorry if it's not, and also I won't know how to fix it in editing, so I'm really sorry. <laughs> I've tried my best. So yeah, I think that's the plan really little bit of a explaining video and showing you a few bits I like to wear at the moment. Um, there's a, the, the reason that I'm mainly doing this video is for, well, it's a couple of reasons. One, I love fashion. Um, and I like fashion that's, I mean, don't get me wrong, you wear whatever you feel comfortable in, whatever makes you feel confident you go for. And at the moment, current fashion trends don't make me feel that way. Um, I would feel very self-conscious. I would feel, I don't know, it just, it doesn't suit me. It doesn't suit my vibe. Vibe, what am I? It's just not, it's just not me. I'm gonna do this lookbook that some, I'm 26, and I dress differently, and I don't think there's absolutely anything wrong with that at all. Um, whatever, you wear whatever makes you comfortable. Um, the second thing is, I've tried, I don't know if sustainable is the right word, um, because I, I don't want to use the wrong term, um, so I'm going to have to try and explain what I mean by my definition of it, is that I'm buying clothes that are either secondhand, charity shops, eBay, um, and occasionally getting gifts for like Christmas or whatever, uh, Bit of backstory. Oh, since August last year, August 2020, I've been on a weight loss journey. Um, I have lost 25 kilos, <laughs> so none of my clothes from last year fit. So what's happened that I've managed to do is take some of my old clothes and alter them, which is great. Um, I've got a lovely friend, Chris, and if you're watching Chris, love ya, you're a gem, um, who alters clothes for me. And I've also, and I will link these groups down in the description if you're interested, because if you like this video and vintage fashion, you might be interested in those. Um, groups that do sort of buy, sell and swap. So I either swap some of my clothes for another size, or um, I've sold some clothes on and been able to buy others. Um, and I think that that's not only a cheap, cheaper way of doing things, it is also more environmentally friendly and all the terminology that I don't really know and I should know I should know but I don't and I don't want to use the wrong terminology but I'm sure you're getting what I'm saying by this so I bought a few outfits and I might do another one of these um, at some point if people like it and if I feel confident enough <laughs> um, I'll probably be editing this and being like no no uh, when I'm showing the clothes off or telling you about them. I'll tell you where I got them, um, how I got them, etc. etc. Um, some of the items you probably won't find. I think 
in the store, you might have to shop around and look for them like I did because they were second hand and they're not maybe this year's season, but like I say, I'll put some stuff in the links below, um, in the description below, and hopefully you can find something you like, even if it's not the actual dress or whatever it is that I show you. You'd be like, hey, actually, maybe I'll look for something quite like that. And let me tell you, since I've lost weight, I love charity shop shopping. Um, obviously, when I was losing weight, it was 2020, so pandemic, no shops were open, charity shops included in the UK. Um, so once it all kind of opened up a bit again, and I was and I was still in the process of losing weight, I was like, oh, gosh, I really need some clothes. What am I going to do? Um, and I was living in clothes that I was like trying to like belt in. And I was like, yes, charity shops are open, and I just really enjoy it. Like it's really fun finding something that you know isn't in whatever shop um, and eBay as well. I haven't really used any of the other sites, like Vinted, <laughs> uh, I can't even think of them, but what I use is eBay, local charity shops, and I'm quite lucky that my local area has quite a lot of charity shops, so that works out well for me. But yeah, so those places, and I will also mention the buy and sell swap Facebook pages, I'm completely blank on me. I'll put them in the description, you'll be fine. So the first outfit is this number, um, and I got the skirt from eBay for 20 odd pounds, I think it was. Now this is a Vivian of Holloway skirt, I think they retail around 80, 90 pounds, so bloody bargain. Um, I will tell you now, I'll give you my measurements because sometimes it helps people. Um, I have a 32 double D on the bust, I have a 24 inch waist and I do not know my hip size so I will have to put that in, in editing. Um, but I'm often a size 6 or a size 8 depending on where I shop but I will tell you all the sizes. So um, yeah, let's get on with that bit. So we have our mod cloth jumper which I'm not really 100% sure how long it's supposed to be on here, but let me tell you, it is so soft. It's like just so, so soft. Um, I did get this from the actual Mod Class website, so it should be in stock, maybe in some sizes. Um, if you are ordering from the United Kingdom, well, from England, I don't know about the United Kingdom, from England, so far, I am from Mod Class, I've not had any. Um, charges because you know uh, brexit and all that jazz and um, i actually haven't had any charges which works out very well so far so we've got this lovely little jumper which is in an extra extra small and it's a swing skirt as you uh, circle skirt as you can see and yeah the first item that i am going to show you is this little number from this is from rock Loss. um and it's what I think is probably an Australian brand called Princess Highway. Um, it's a little um, 60s inspired dress with a nice little belt at the front so you can pull it in the waist, which is great for me because most clothes are too small for me, are too big for me around the waist. Um, it's in this lovely corduroy. Um, my friend Chris, who I spoke about earlier, she did tell me what kind of corduroy it was. Um, but I've forgotten. But yes, it's super cute. I wear it with brogues, tights, and a top underneath um, to make it more wintry. I think otherwise you're going to be quite cold. You could wear it with a cardigan, but I personally like to wear it with um, a top underneath, just a blue long sleeve top. Um, I think that that's a really good winter option, especially so you often find with vintage wear that you have to get a coat which works well with vintage. I will show you one of the coats that I have that works very well I think with a lot of items I have um, because often vintage clothes come much lower on the leg than 
high street clothes, whatever you'd like to call it. So finding a coat which works well for those is difficult um, and it costs more unless you're very lucky and you found one online, which again, recommend the collective um, buy and sell swap one. They often have coats popping up in all different sizes with people selling them on. So if you're looking for a vintage coat, I would recommend going there. However, with this coat, you can wear pretty much any regular high street coat that's long enough. Um, I've got a pink one from Next, I haven't brought that with me, but I'll probably pop it in. If not, I'll just put a little picture of what the coat looks like. Lots of people like that coat. I don't really, <laughs> pink, I love pink, but it's, I don't know why, I was well out of my comfort zone, but people like it. The next one we have, if I can get it, um, is this little number from Collective. Um, it's got these super cute little buttony things. Um, now I got this off eBay for a steal. Ooh, the zip's not done up. Um, I got this for an absolute steal. Um, this was, I think, about seven pound, including postage. It was brand new tax. This is what I mean. You can get absolute bargains. Uh, what I will say is that if you are a busty person who wants to buy a coat, especially from Collective, which is pretty much where all of my coats are from, I would think about sizing up, especially if it has buttons, because <laughs> I tried this, I went into the store, and my dad very, very kindly bought me the coat, um, and I tried this six on, and I was like, that is not, that's not going, that is just not gonna button up. And they luckily had a size eight, and that fits so much better. And the thing is with the jacket that I will show you, Again, this wasn't really necessarily super sustainable and it is one of the most more expensive items and I was very lucky that someone gifted it to me. The great thing is with this is that you could wear it with trousers, you could wear it with um, skirt, absolutely anything, because it cuts here at the waist, which is very um, vintage sil 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 silhouette, sorry, it's hard to say, and you can pull it in tight and it's got this nice little sort of peplum. What I was saying, now I remember, is that this is a collective six. I am a collective six, but this is on the tight side. Um, I don't know whether that's because um, I, I do have a very hourglass figure. Um, it's just, <laughs> that's just what I was born with. Um, so maybe I have a little bit more tightness in the hips. Really don't know my hip size, but yeah. Oh gosh, it's a little too tight. I don't know whether I would, if I was buying it, um, you know, on the site or whatever. I don't know if I would have gone with an A. I'm not really 100% sure. And I would, <laughs> and I would probably wear it with a cardigan because it's it's like this. It's quite. I don't actually know what material it is. Um, it would help if I could find the label. Okay, so it's 97% polyester and 3% spandex which doesn't give me a little bit of stretch um i have to admit you know we're we're not talking the nicest texture if you're a texture person you might not like it but however it does have a lining so that makes it slightly better um but it's i don't really know how to describe the texture not really 100 percent sure I'm not very good at this, so am I? <laughs> um, but yes, real cheap. I felt like a real bargain. Next, we have a hand, well, I bought it in a charity shop um, for an absolute steal. So, so this, this little number, which I believe must be handmade um, because there is no label in it whatsoever. The thing that makes me think it could possibly be vintage, but I think unlikely, is that there's metal zip. So if you're looking for um, authentic fashion, uh, vintage fashion, um, and if that's what you're into, don't feel pressured to, reproduction is just fine. You know, people go, oh, I have to wear true vintage to be a vintage person. I'm like, no, you don't. You just have to feel good in what you want to wear. That's the most important thing. Anyway, so, this has a metal zip, but I do 
tend to think it's handmade, but it's very, very cute. So it's got this like little slide belt situation, which I think what I'm gonna do is get some holes put in it because slide belts just slide, literally. They slide open, but it's got this super like sweet little collar. Um, I mean, adorable. And this skirt, which buttons, which I do find a little bit weird, um, but to be honest, it's my tad itchy. So I would say getting a slip underneath is probably what I need to do, but very cute. And this was an absolute steal. Um, I would say, you know, we're talking quite 60s, 70s inspired there. And I think it's really cute. I think it was like six pounds in a charity shop. This is the thing with charity shop your thing is you just have to kind of work through all of the stuff and sometimes you just come across this magical thing and you're like yes that's what we want that's why we came to our shop shopping i think that's the great thing about fashion is that we can all be different in whatever makes us feel good and i think that's the most important thing okay I and mean, the last item i have brought with me is a gift so somebody bought me this dress which is very very kind of them um i will show it to you now this is a dress a little pencil dress in a tartan that is from the little dress company this yeah this is a size eight um i wear a size eight in pretty much all of their no I, in every dress i have by the pretty dress is a size eight um and it's super cute it's one of the dresses that i first got once i started to get down to a size where I felt comfortable. Um, I'd completely lost all of my confidence before um, I lost weight. And I think that for me, that's what I wanted and needed to do for, my, for me. I mean, as long as you are happy and you are safe and you are well, then you have to do what's right for you. Um, and for me, I didn't feel confident in my clothes. I barely left the house because I just, I lived in the same outfit. I would wash it every like three days and I just wore the same thing. Um, I thought when I got to the point where I just thought I'm not comfortable with how I look, I wanna do something about it. So once I'd started guessing down to the weight that I wanted to, um, I was very, very kindly bought this as a gift. Um, so it's, as with all the pretty dress companies, really good quality. Um, dress got a lovely lining to it. I think this is dry clean only. This is the only thing that you have with vintage fashion that's a tad frustrating. It's got something all over it. That's a tad frustrating is that you have to dry clean a lot of your clothes. So it's basically try not to get them dirty. So with this, I would wear a little blue top underneath it. You could leave it without a top underneath. I am quite self-conscious of the fact that for me and my size, I'm quite busty at the top and I'm I'm not, I don't feel confident having it on show all of the time. It's just not the right vibe for me. Um, you could easily do that and wear it with a cardigan and a coat, no problem. Um, but it's amazing quality, comes with a belt and, sorry. Oh, and adjustable straps, which is always, always cool. But I really hope that you enjoyed watching it, and I'm sorry if it's really, really long. Um, and if I do one of these again, it might not be explaining everything. It might literally just be like, this is what it looks like kind of vibe. Um, but why do I keep saying vibe? Why do I keep saying vibe? It's not worth it. I never use it. Just, um, but it might just be like, oh, this one's from here, rather than all this sit down and explaining. But I think that, that I don't know. I just kind of felt like that was the right thing to do. Um, that's how I felt comfortable doing it. So yeah, um, thank you very much for watching, um, if you've made it this far, <laughs> which if you have, well, fantastic, thank you. Um, and I'm thinking I might do more of these, they're good fun. Um, hopefully I'll have found more bargains. That's the most important thing, that's what I wanna show, is that there are some bargains out there to be found. I hope you all have a lovely day. Please stay safe um, and well. And I'm sending you all lots of 
I want to say love and hugs, but in COVID that's probably not the best thing. But I'm sending you a lot of warmth and happiness. And just generally, I hope that you're okay. I really, really hope that you're okay. Um, and that you and I, this will be about before Christmas, so I hope that you will have a love Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. Um, if not, happy holidays. Um, yeah. I will catch you later if I decide to do another one of these. <laughs> Which I might. Um, I'm also thinking about doing a little sit down and chat about other things. We'll see. We will see. Let's go.